Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. All right, what do you get if you combine, mm, I don't know, a hat box with a record player? You get this, the hat box record player. This is actually a really cool vintage suitcase style turntable from ClearClick. We're gonna check it out. You're not gonna wanna miss this. This is Recordology. Okay guys, and here it is. Now, let me preface this by saying this. If anybody mentions the word Technics, or Riga or Project in the comments, you will be banned for life. Just kidding. Uh, but seriously guys, this is not about a replacement for a super hi-fi turntable. This is about an interactive record player experience, an interactive record enjoying experience. So let's look at it through that lens uh, because that's really what it's all about. All right, so check this out guys. Three year warranty, very, very cool. Uh, handmade wood exterior compatible with all three speeds. Uh, has a Bluetooth and aux in, USB enabled uh, for converting vinyl uh, to MP3. It's also got the audio recording software, which I presume is Audacity. So let's go ahead and unbox it. You know, for a time, I was considering not doing the unboxing part, and then I did that survey, and you guys said that you like this, so I want to keep doing it. Um, power supply. It's like a 5-volt power supply. Somewhere around there. And it's pretty much ready to go. Here's the manual and USB cable. I'm assuming the software is Audacity. And these are pretty simple unboxings when they're like these all-in-one units because they're pretty much all in one. So well packaged. Beautiful design. Look at that, you guys. That is so cool. Just look at that. Sets up. Looks like a hat box. And I just think that's so, so cool. I've actually had my eyes on this one for quite some time. Um, just is so unique. We reviewed, I think about a year ago, the non-hat box version of this, just kind of the uh, little bit more traditional suitcase version of this, but man, this is cool. Taking a closer look, here's a speaker grill, one of them. Man, that's cool. And look at this, this is like a real, like, I don't know if that's real leather or not, but it sure feels like it. And that's like the closure, you guys. Isn't that awesome? Like a leather handle, look at this cool latch, very unique. It's got a very, you know, antique look to it, which is so cool. I mean, these are real metal buckles and buttons and straps, just so, so cool. Then around back here, our USB uh, power. Yeah, it is five volts, I thought so. And output, so you can connect it to a bigger stereo if you want. Now you'll notice this kind of bubbly look in some areas. That's because there's like a film on here. So you just, you know, use your fingernail and try to scratch that off. Some people never do this and it drives me nuts. But yeah, just pull that off and it's as good as new. And that's all there is to it, you guys. Let's have a look inside. All right, and to open it, we just unfasten these snaps right here. Open the latch and here we go. Big reveal. I haven't seen it yet, you guys. We're going to experience it together. Ah, uh, very, very cool. Look at that. That is awesome. I love the branding. I think it's really, really cool. And Clear Click is coming out with some really unique stuff that you're not seeing a lot of other places. I mean, some very cool, cool stuff, uh, which is really exciting. A little 45 adapter, pop loose during shipping. Uh, we've got our twisty tie on the tone arm. We've got a stylus guard. This is going to be a typical uh, turntable movement uh, in terms of the ceramic stylus or cartridge and uh, belt driven platter. And over here we've got line input, Bluetooth select, uh, volume on and off, headphone jack, three speed select, auto stop select. It's as simple as that, you guys. Now, we just need to have some records to play on it. And for that, I've got a little bit of a surprise. A little bit of a record haul surprise here. So I went over to Goodwill this morning and uh, I found a bunch of really cool kids records in all different colors and designs. Some Disney ones, some off-brand ones, some Peter Pan ones, with some book and record ones like this. Just phenomenal. I love this stuff. I love the colors. I love the nostalgia. I think it's just so cool. Also found uh, this strawberry shortcake record that my wife had when she was a kid. And this really neat record, Walt Disney, It's a Small World, and it's like a book and record set as well. So I thought it would be a lot of fun. Some pages are falling out. I thought it'd be kind of fun for us to play some of this stuff to demo this record player. So without further ado, let's do that. Now, I will tell you this. 
Pretty much I haven't played with any of this since, since I got it earlier this morning. But I did look inside this one. I love the artwork on this. I mean, this is so, so cool. But I fell victim to one of the oldest things ever. So I didn't check out the records ahead of time. And it's got a different record in there, you guys. I thought I was getting the sing-along, the merry mailman. And what I really got was the sow took the measles. So you know what? Sometimes that happens, and that's my fault for not checking it out. Also... Um, I'm using this uh, Crosley Groove Goo uh, to clean some of this stuff because I'm sure it's going to be pretty dusty. So let's go ahead and open up a record or two and give it a listen. Okay, let's go ahead and start with Smokey the Bear here. This is a 45 record, 45 RPM, and yeah, it's not that dirty. We'll go ahead and just play it as is. So it's going to be scratchy. And it's got a cueing lever, which is cool. It lifts up really, really high, which is interesting. I've seen a lot of record players do that, where the cueing lever lifts the thing like two inches off the platter. Guess it helps if I turn it on. And let's give it a listen. Smokey the Bear. Hopefully copyright free. You know, I feel like there's more scratch than sound, but that's okay. It's cool. I like it. It's a lot of fun, you guys. I mean, these records, you find Peter Pan records or, you know, Disneyland records. These things were handled by kids. They were, you know, roughed up, scratched, touched, everything you're not supposed to do to a record. It's a miracle any of them survived. So you got to take it with a grain of salt. Wow, that one's rough. That one is, you know, and it's funny, records, you know, you know, they fade away over time because, you know, as the groove wears down to nothing, eventually the, uh, the static overtakes the, um, the sound, which is a kind of an interesting dynamic. This one's a 33. So we're going to flip it back to 33. It is a little dirty, so we're going to use our groove glue, groove goo. We're going to use our groove goo on this. You just take this whole thing out of the thing and just roll it along and it'll suck up all the junk in there and that is the quickest way my friends to a clean record I'll tell you what so with our clean but still probably scratched Disneyland record of the orange bird let's go ahead and drop our stylus and give it a listen the fluffy little puppy sight to see he can turn your frown around when you see him Okay, and for all of you that may be concerned this would damage your records, I thought we'd bring out the old Ortofon tracking force gauge and really see how much pressure uh, this is exerting down on the record. So this type of mechanism should track at five grams. So we're gonna drop the stylus right at the five gram mark and it should balance evenly. If it goes all the way down, then we know it's tracking above five grams. Um, but again, records are designed to withstand five to six grams of pressure. So even then wouldn't be a huge, huge deal. But let's go ahead and, and see. So we're gonna drop it and see what happens. Okay, so it's settling down. Uh, it's not even quite level. So we're somewhere just under five grams in my estimation, which is perfectly fine. You know, you can even use the back of this turntable as a handy record cover stand while you're listening to your music. All right, for my wife, I'm gonna play a little bit of Strawberry Shortcake here. This is Little Brown Jug by the Strawberry Shortcake Players. <laughs> If you're with ClearClick and you're watching this, you may be pulling out your hair because I'm playing a bunch of kitty records on it, and I haven't given the record player a proper test. So we're going to play a little Henry Mancini on a modern, clean, non-scratched record and really test out the sound quality real quick. Okay, guys, and here is a stereo sample in the room with stereo microphone playing a clean, modern record uh, for your enjoyment. Here we go. And because I can't help myself, a little Star Trek as well. Okay guys, it's got a very bright 
and sharp sound. I really want to kind of probe its capabilities in, in the bass department. So I'm going to hook up a Bluetooth connection and we're going to listen to a little rap and see how it does in the bass world. My real life was a headline. Your real life got a deadline. My timeline was a hashtag. Your timeline just a hate crime coming in hot. Feeling like pop. Back in I fall when he took five shots. This unit looks awesome. It's got a great design aesthetic and it's going to fit in decor wise really, really well. But I'm going to give it a yellow light. Proceed with caution. This is really good for young kids, I would say. I would say it's good for sharing records with kids, introducing people you know, to the hobby in terms of how record players work. Maybe even seniors uh, would really benefit from this. But you'll notice in some of the sound samples a little bit of a warble effect, which can be caused by a belt issue, a bad motor, etc., etc. It could be just this particular unit, you know, not necessarily an overall design issue. But it's something that did, you know, present itself more so in the high frequency areas, not so much on the low frequencies. Sinatra sounds okay, you know, some music with a lower frequency sound, you know, fine. It was just like those female and kid voices and higher frequencies where it was more prevalent. So that warble or wow effect is definitely something that uh, you want to look out for in terms of it impacting sound quality. I did notice another issue that it does skip on some pop music. I put in some Lady Gaga and it couldn't track. It was having tracking errors, skipping and jumping out of the groove. Now, I compared it to another unit that was an entry level unit as well, and it was pretty much night and day between the two units in terms of sound quality and ability to track. This unit, even on Bluetooth, kind of has a muddy sound and it was distorting low frequencies, which is kind of odd rather than just omitting them. So, so you've got the warble, you've got the skipping issues, and overall the sound was kind of thin and unimpressive. So for those reasons, I'm going to give it a yellow light, proceed with caution, but it is a very fun unit to play with. And I do think that clear click has some very cool stuff coming up. So don't count them out just yet. Uh, we've reviewed some of their products before that have done very, very well. And they've got some other stuff that looks very, very exciting as well. So I'm curious to see what these guys have in the hopper and what's just around the corner. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I enjoy putting it together for you. Now, if you're interested in this, click in the link in the description below. It's got a good price, three year warranty. You really can't beat it. And it is cool, a lot of fun. And you know what you guys, record players should be fun. It should be a fun, fun thing. So we've got a lot of really cool content coming up here as we lead into Christmas, including a big surprise for December. I'm gonna be going live later this week, somewhere around Thanksgiving, either uh, Thanksgiving itself or the day after to announce what that surprise is. So you're not gonna wanna miss that. I'm gonna schedule that live so you'll see it in the feed. So I would definitely appreciate you guys jumping on that if you can. It's a lot of fun doing the lives because we get to talk, interact. Sometimes I do giveaways and stuff, but I got some big news and I don't want you to miss it. You want to be the first one to find out what it is. Check us out on that live. But in the meantime, happy record hunting. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching Recordology. Stay tuned for a new show every Sunday and Wednesday. Don't forget to hit subscribe and check us out on Instagram and Twitter.